All right, box here. It's uh, 1.30 in the morning on a Saturday night, and this is, this is what we do for fun. <laughs> Found an interesting little homebrew program that allow you to record audio your PSP through a so SOCOM headset. And got to thinking about it, and I thought, hey, that'd be kind of interesting. We could, we, could, uh, we could hack the, the headset, and we could hook it up to an XLR jack and record to a really nice mic like the one that I'm talking on right now, a couple hundred dollar microphone, and we could do our audio podcast through the PSP. So, that's the project today. <laughs> and uh, you need a couple things before you get started. You're going to need the little Sony remote control thing that comes with your PSP. You don't have to worry about the headset part because we're going to be taking a video iPod cable, which is the other thing you're going to need. And because I'm cheap and I don't want to buy a second one, we're just going to make an adapter for this video iPod cable to go to the fancy XLR jack that our uh, microphone uses. And we're doing that via a female XLR and a female RCA. That's just going to go onto the yellow iPod connector and then the iPod connector is going to go into the Sony remote. And the soldering we're going to be doing here is going to solder this to this and then our microphone will go right into here. And ultimately, um, when I got another one to spare, we'll probably just bypass the whole iPod cable and go directly to the microphone into the remote. And the nice thing about using the remote is you can actually do the recording with it. You can pause the recording, restart it, play it back. Use another adapter to get the audio out of this iPod cable so we can monitor the audio that we're recording that way. Um, we'll have a more advanced hack later on how to actually hook this all up with a headset and make it a smaller, littler cable. All right, right now Pox is desoldering the end of the cable. Also, um, the mic that we have is a powered mic, so you have to have a battery in it when you're running it. But the batteries last like hundreds of hours, <laughs> so it's not a huge concern. In our test, the system worked with normal unpowered microphones as well, but your mileage may vary. There's a few pieces that we need to feed on here first to reassemble this and make it look seamless. And the nice thing about this whole process is we don't even need any shrink wrap. All right, so we got to trim these up a little here because we were. If the cables are too long; they'll hit each other and create a short circuit. And we could either you could either do this, or you could just wrap electrical tape around them or shrink wrap them. But uh, we're lazy, so. All right, so what we're doing right now is we cut back the ends and we are tinning the wire tips. and tinning it makes it a lot easier. We're using a resin core solder and that's got some flux built into it so we don't have to mess around with the flux. And this isn't very fine soldering so it's, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward stuff. And we're going to solder uh, what they consider the hot wire, the center one that's actually conducting the information Onto two. Onto two. Pin number two on the XLR jack. Okay, and that's pretty simple. And then we got our little ground wire, oh, sorry, like this. which goes on to three. Oh, don't want to burn your fingers there. Ta da! That was slick. That you want to make sure that none of these wires are touching any of the exposed wire from the ground to the, the pin 2 there. Alright, so after you got everything soldered, just got to thread on the old components that we took off. Line everything up. 
and push it through. Fairly straightforward. Maybe a little too straightforward. And voila, no shrink wrap or anything. And it looks like we just went downtown and bought this little cable. <laughs> now we have a little RCA to XLR converter, which we'll plug into our iPod cable. And our iPod cable plugs into the PSP remote. PSP remote plugs in to the PSP. XLR goes into the mic. And on the PSP, we'll go ahead and launch our little homebrew application here, the virtual tape recorder. Now, one of the cool things about this virtual tape recorder is hopefully he'll, he'll update it more by the time you guys see this, but he's got controls on the actual PSP remote. So if we want to record, you can just hit um, plus and then press play and it'll start recording. And you'll probably hear this in an audio podcast before the video podcast, but this is one of the first tests right now to see if the uh, connection that we soldered together works. And to stop it, you can just go ahead and hit uh, pause. And then you can hit minus to go to playback, and then press play to play it back. Audio podcast before the video podcast, but this is one of the first tests right now to see if the uh, connection that we soldered together works. Which it does. So this is fantastic. We've got we've got a really expensive digital audio recorder now out of a cool little homebrew application and just some parts that were laying around. We didn't have to buy a single thing. This is something that we started couple hours ago in the middle of the night we're like hey if if this does this and we could do that and we could record our podcast professionally just with some standard junk that was laying around in the closet sweet well this is our test file let's hope it actually saves correctly instead of like a bunch of annoying static yeah this this, this is this is pox and we're testing out this uh, new library that art made a little program out of uh, what's what's the name of the guy that actually made the library it is ira maybe cool name looks like it came out of some video game ah, no! stay back no, back me back back, back. Ah, this sucks so bad. <laughs>